This is Flash at Drop in a Coil on Thursday night, the uh, 9th of April, 2020. Uh, we've got Larry Woods and Rob Works in the wings. They're going to continue the talk that they've been having so far about the creation of the coil from its very early beginnings to a finished product. And uh, probably a whole lot of other shit, because these guys know stuff. And we've got in the uh, RLM chat, the chatters for your reading perusal are Barman, Beetle, Cowboy Tech, Grimnir, Kate, Anti, Chalcedony, Circlo, hello, honey. Me, Frumpy, Frumpy Work, Grand Z, Prince, Rob Works, the Bubbler, Trust no, no One, Number One, Van and White. Hey, Larry, you want to log on to the RLM in case you get questions? That would probably be helpful. Then people can. Why don't you read the questions for me? Because I can't read and talk oh. at the same time. And then we'll have to have some way for me to interrupt you that's not rude and insulting I'll, to do that. I'll watch, I'll watch for questions. Oh, okay. There you go. That solves that, Ross. Thank you. There we go. Okay. We've got uh, Van White, Weather Dork, Phantom, CC66, Chaskura, Cyborg Noodle, E Man, Ensiv, Gromit, Kiss, Mr. Snick, <laughs> Bonsai, Sock Puppet, Smart Ass. The Holiest Roger, what the hell, and z picks And those are your challengers in the academic world for your reading and perusal tonight. And uh, that's it for me, guys. Larry, Rob? Okay. Hey, Larry. Hey, Rob. Well, uh, thanks, Flash. Yes, thanks for the intro there, Flash. Um, well, like I said, I wanted to go uh, over the coil. Uh, one more time as far as the, the, the wrapping and uh, I've got the, I've got the donut ready. I've got the wire. Um, I just don't have the exact, uh, I kind of needed like a diagram or something <laughs> that I can actually see how this thing works as far as, I mean, maybe you can go over it. Yeah, and I, and I can I get it. Maybe I can explain it. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a donut on a piece yeah. of paper right here. So I've got a donut here. Okay. Now, we've okay. got... And with, okay. your, with your compass, make your circle. Uh-huh. And... With the with the protractor, go and mark out your your degrees from right. zero. It's three hundred and sixty at the top, ten degrees, twenty degrees, thirty degrees, all the way around. Okay. Okay, that's 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 going to give you from zero to thirty six. Or from zero to three hundred and sixty just drop to zeros. Right, right. Okay. Uh -huh. two seventy. Okay. All right. So every ten degrees you make the mark. Okay. Okay. Now that's drop all of those numbers down to one through nine. If it's 12, it's 1 plus 2 is 3. If it's 13, it's 1 plus 3 is 4. You understand that part? Okay. Okay, 1, right, 2, now 3, we're still 4, talking 5. About, we're yeah. still talking about the 10-degree increments. Okay, you're right. 10 degrees. Okay, so you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So those are just one, two, three, four, five, 80, 90, 100. When you get right. to 100, that's, that's a one. That's one. Or 100 is a one. 100, or 110 is two. Yeah. 120 is three. Yes. And so it's it's basically. Just add the numbers okay, that so make up that number together. Okay, so we're not going all the way down to actual degrees. We're, we're going by 10 degrees on each one. That's, that's right. where I was not sure of. 
Yeah, okay, okay, so I understand that. So that all works. breaks down using vortex math into one through nine. Yeah, one through nine, and it goes around twice, three times. Goes around uh, twice. Nine, eighteen. It goes around three times. Okay. Okay, so three times that means. Yeah, you just get one through nine going there three times. Oh, out of the 360? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And because it's three times, that gives you an equal lateral triangle. Just keep that in the back of your head. <laughs> All right. The firing pattern is one. So at your first one, start your line. Go to four, and then go back to seven on the other side, and back to one. That will make something that looks like an equilateral triangle on your two-dimensional drawing. Okay, right? so go from one, which is actually 10 degrees. Yeah, to okay. 40 degrees. And so go in and around and up on 40. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then in and around, and from 40, and back up to 70. To 7, on the left-hand side, that would be, what, uh, 250? What? 250 degrees for that 7, <laughs> and then back to 1. Now, wait. <laughs> okay, you... You go from 1 to 40, uh -huh. right, from 10 to 40. Right. And then you move to 7. That's your next 7, continuing to go clockwise around that coil. Right. Okay, that next 7 is what, 250 degrees? Be 25? No. Okay, that, that, that doesn't matter. I'll just... I'm not looking at a diagram. I don't know what number it would be. And then from that 7, back to 1. Well, the first 7 you come to after 40 is 70. Now keep on going. You're making uh, an equilateral triangle. Okay. See, this, this isn't making sense to me because... Okay, if let me, you go around 10, come up on 40. Just You're doing it on a piece of paper, right? Yeah. Draw a straight line between 10 and 40. Okay, that's just like a little... <laughs> yeah, a straight line down. Down? Yeah. 40, 40, 40 degrees is 30 degrees away from 10. It's just yeah over a tab. Yeah. And you're making, this is going to turn out to be an equilateral triangle. So the 7 that's closest to your 360. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's not it either. That's not making any sense that's to me at all. That's not it either. It's first set, the second set, the third set. Should be in your third set of, of numbers. Let me get something out here. I'm going to have to see something. Uh, now hang on, hang on. Talk to you right my head. for a second. Let me get a picture here. Okay. All right. We're taking a little so, break from the uh, from the hustle and bustle of trying to communicate through words well, on paper. It's a little picture. difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Hard to yeah. But if you yeah. both did the same thing together at the same time, you should both get the same results if, if that is indeed what you're doing. Difficult yeah, stuff, Rob. Come on. This is not the it, squeamish. It's not. Yeah, well, it's not easy because he's telling me 10, 40, 70, mm -hmm. 147, mm -hmm. and I'm counting degrees over uh, going clockwise on a, on a dial here, mm -hmm. and 10, 40, 70 is 147. And that's all in the upper right quadrant of the donut. Okay. 
And he's talking about making a triangle. I, it's just not way over my head anyway. I'm I'm just the clown that asks the, the it's not easier out. questions. Well, right. I'm sure you guys will figure out what what the situation. Yeah, is. well, it's just a matter of. He said, "Come on, install for a few minutes while he looks for a picture." Yeah. So that's why I did this. This was not my idea. <laughs> I'm innocent. But, uh, <laughs> well, when you think about how difficult it is to convey a, a p- picture in somebody else's mind with words, it's it is not it's very it difficult. Is. Yeah. And, but you, if you're both doing the same thing simultaneously, you should both come up with the same answer. So just let me know when I'm done stalling. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this, okay. but oh, are you oh, back, Larry? Good. Help. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. The second seven that you come to. That's going to be 160. Okay. From four to that seven. Okay. And then back to one. Okay. Does that give you an equilateral triangle? No. Well, that's not fair. (laughs) Um, I mean, not looking down on it. I mean, if you're drawing straight lines, it doesn't. Um, I don't have an accurate drawing here. I mean, if you look, if you're looking for okay, a, a triangle. Let's, let Let's start again and and see what we've got. You've got your ten degrees marked out all the way around, right? I've only got it halfway down to one eighty right now, but okay, I can do the rest. This is making for dry radio. (laughs) Bear with us, folks. I kind of sprung this on Larry at the last minute here, actually. I made my mistake. It's not the first four, it's the second four. Okay. <laughs> so that would be 80. Yeah. Which, Larry, Larry, Larry. Yeah, I, I get mixed up. Let's see. So it's one and 80. And then your 250 makes sense. Yeah. One seven or one four seven. And then back to one. And back to one. That makes, and then well, then that makes kind of a triangle. I may have the. Are you calling the one uh, actually ten degrees three sixty or no one is ten degrees ten degrees over from yeah. cent, from top top center. Yeah. Uh, or ten degrees. Yeah. So 10 degrees to the second four, which would be 80. No, no, that's an eight. That's <laughs> eight. Yeah. Be a 130. <clears throat> yeah. Shut up, Flash. 140 <laughs> and then 250 and back to one. That makes a triangle. There you yeah. go. There we go. There's our triangle. Okay, so 10 to 130. 250. Okay, so, okay, that gives me the pattern. So, under, so that's a long sweeping wrap. Yeah. It goes around. It's not a, it's not a, 
not really a coil looking wrap. It's just down and under and all the way over and back up. This has nothing. It doesn't look anywhere similar to right, any to coil that's currently in production. Nothing okay. at all. All right. So, okay. This is one important fact. That coil, that that circuit, you're going to wrap this. You're going to do this nine times around this triangle. Uh-huh. Okay, that, that's going to give you one circuit that is wrapped clockwise. Okay, when you say nine times, okay, so we're going to go one, four, one, seven, four, seven, one, four, seven, which is actually not. What? It's it's in a, it's a progression, but anyway, okay, but so it's really one one. Let's go in degrees and forget the number, ten one forty two fifty. Or ten one thirty two fifty. I'm looking at the wrong. So we're going ten one thirty two fifty. Now the second wrap. Are we just going right next along that wire? Yeah, yeah, exactly then, next to that wire, touching that wire. Right. And you lay your wires right together like your fingers. Right. Okay. Okay. And then, and, the, and you do that nine times, or do yeah. You, yeah, you wrap that before, nine times. You do two and then skip one and then do two and then skip one. You said that before. Yeah, but that that comes that comes next. Okay. All <laughs> right, so nine wraps all side by side, ten, one thirty, two fifty. Right. Back to ten. Yeah. And and so nine wraps ending up on ten. Yes. Okay. So nine times. Okay. Um, and then you flip it over and do two eight five. Yes. Which? No. Yeah. Well. Okay. An important step next. Wire is made by stretching out a big say, a big chunk of it. That means that it has a polarity. Okay. Right. This circuit, this circuit, you've just pulled the wire off and cut it, and that that beginning end where you started pulling the wire off is what you use to start wrapping around this coil. Right. Yeah, we talked about that. But for the next circuit, that has to be wound counterclockwise but the polarity also has to be reversed. So when you right. cut your wire off, you start with the end where you cut it, not the end where you started pulling it off. Right. That way you will have a reversed polarity on that wire. This is a very important step for harmonically balancing these coils. Right. Okay. I understand that t- concept totally. Uh, I, ha- I had that one down. Good. Um, okay, I now to remember that though. For, okay, so the next one, you start at two or at twenty, uh huh, and go to eight, which is on your. Oh, it's a one, two. Let's see, one hundred eighty, ninety, two hundred ten, twenty. I want to say 170. Yeah, 170. So two, two to 170, and then uh, and then and then back to five should be uh uh hey, no that's not working. This is remedial radio for slow people. Yeah. Welcome to Drop in well, a Coil. This, this this is the nitty gritty of it right here. I'm telling you, and, and it's real hard to to c- conceive. Uh, it's not that 170. It's not 170. Okay. It's two to eight. Okay, it's, so eight would be. It's the, it's the one. It's 260. 260. Yeah. So it's going the other direction. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, two so twenty, one to two sixty, and then five would be 
back to 140. Okay, so you're doing basically – okay, so it's it's wrapping right next to the last circuit. Yeah, it's just another reverse. equilateral triangle just going in reverse from the first one. And so the nine wraps between – on the on – the, on the 147 wrap is not going to fill the full 10 degrees? Uh, it will come close. Uh, no, it'll fill about half of it. Right, okay. Because okay, you're going to have to figure the circumference of your wire so and, and the circumference of the center to find of out wire. the size. Yeah. Nine so, pieces of wire is good. No, it's not nine pieces. Yeah, it's one piece going around nine times. Yeah, I know. Nine okay. nine wraps around. I'm looking at the at the roll of wire that I have. I'm counting nine nine wraps. Is about just a little over half an inch wide. Yeah. So that yeah, that should work. Yeah. Okay. So you, you're using so, okay. twenty two hundred. So yeah, it'll work. Uh, uh, to lay it all down, um, starting out with your first wrap, we're going to call it top and bottom. We're starting on the top, 10 degrees, wrapping to 130 to 250, back to 10, and following that wrap around nine times, ending up uh, back to 10. Except you called it backwards. What? Talking about oh, the first no, wrap. You're, 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 yeah, the first wrap. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm reiterating the whole thing so yeah. to consolidate it down yeah. into one explanation. So on the top side, first wrap, starting at 10 degrees, you go to 130, 250, back to 10. Follow that wrap nine times around. Yes. Do, that, do that nine times and end up back at 10 degrees. Yes. Okay. You also started that wire with the beginning of the roll. Yes. You flip the donut over. You start at position 20. You use the other end of the wire that you cut. That you, so you would have – okay, let me back up. We're gonna, we know we're going to need, uh, what, six of these wraps. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six total. Yes. All right. So we would do, we would do what you said before and, and wrap a string. Do that one wrap with the string. Measure that out. Multiply that times nine, and we cut our strings. When you cut your strings, you cut them all out. Keep them all in the same direction. And when you're done, you take half of them and flip them over, and and mark those as bottom and the other first set is top that'd be the easy way for me to do it yeah cutting out your wire yeah yeah so you cut you cut whatever uh i think i've calculated uh six um six uh wire six wraps out of 100 feet is going to give me 16 feet so i'd cut six 16 feet pieces of wire and I'd label three of them on the one end that came out. And then I'd label the other end of the other three as bottom. I have it right in my mind. I'm not explaining it very well. <laughs> so, still with me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just marking Really good. Connection. Okay, so I, I've got the wrap down now, I think. Okay, so that, that's that 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 gives me all the pieces that I need to to really get this down. So now it's just a matter of now when you do it, um, that you say you glue as you go. That gives you two circuits, right? And then you just flip flip and start at uh, start at forty degrees. Start leave at, leave thirty, sixty, ninety, all the way around. All your three, six, and nines are empty. That's the one you skip. All your okay. three, six, and nines so it's are one, empty. One, two, you skip three. Start with four, and then so then it's a four, seven, one. 
thing. Yeah, four seven keeps, one keeps the same. Okay, and it's really just a, just follow the pattern. It'll fall into place actually. Yeah. So you wrap four top, five bottom, six is empty, seven top, eight bottom, nine is empty. Got yeah. it. Flipping, exactly flipping, right. and yeah, yeah. I get it. I got it. It's all. It's in my head now. I got it. I'll never forget it. That's it. Once you got it, you got it. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's what I need of yours. I will keep everybody updated on the progress of repping my coil. Um, my next question was: uh, You start out gluing it down, right? So. Yeah. How, how do you make sure? How do you know you've got it right? I mean, because you come over, you start at ten on the outer ring, the outer equator, right? Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is drill the holes and poke the wire into it to, to anchor it there. Beautiful. And then, uh, so you wrap around, and is there okay. any way to tell how from, how you know you've got it the exact right position? Yeah. From 10, you go through the hole. Right. And you come back out at 130. Yeah. One four at one fifty. <clears throat> Ten to one fifty. No, it's one thirty. One fifty oh, to you're, six. You're right. You're right. One fifty to six. One thirty <laughs> to four. Yeah. Okay. We um, had all that. We already got that established. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thirty. So so you go down. You go over and. Through the hole, yeah. come back up and the outer ring on the outside. Now, yeah. so and I assume you just kind of put that through there, pull it up to one thirty, kind of pull it a little snug and hold it there, and then just kind of shake the wire to where it goes where it feels. Or well, when when you're wrapping that, once you connect those those first two, it will on the donut. It doesn't look good in two dimensions. But on right. the donut, that wire will have a a gradual curve, right? As it comes back over that to number to the four or one thirty, that's a, a gradual curve, and you'll see that it'll it'll flow with the arch of the of the donut, and that that same curve you'll continue that to your two fifty. Right. So you just kind of basically let it lay out where it naturally wants to go. Yeah, it it'll make a slow spiral. Right. And this will give you a triple Mobius. Okay, that makes sense. And so you start off where it, the when do you start gluing? Right from. You'll have to glue. Your... You'll have to glue every inch along the way, but you've got to lay that first one out first so that you can see the arch. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's where yeah. that that's where that three D yeah. design your 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 guy has become in handy because it's got that line. Oh yeah, it. yeah. That that takes a whole day of of plotting out. Right. Anyways, um, so that's that's got me going. I will keep people updated on how the coil wrapping goes. Okay. Um, when, uh, when I when I tried to get the circumference so that I could mark all the all the degrees on the outside, uh-huh. I tried to do it with a compass that you draw a circle with that has yeah. a point and a pencil. Yeah. The the width of the pencil line. Right. Made made by the time you got all the way back around to three sixty, that had a major big mistake <laughs> yeah. in it. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I, you pointed that, that out last time. And I know yeah. how to I know how to compensate for that. Okay. Um just do your do your uh uh ninety one eighty two seventy three sixty. You get those first, and there's your line up. And yeah. And then you split those in half and you got forty fives. And anyways, yeah, I know how to figure it out. Okay. Um I have got on a question the for you, Larry. Uh, yes? Will you guys mind if I interject with a quick question? No, not at all. Fine. Please. I'm just, please. Anytime you want. Well, 
you mentioned over and over through the course of these shows, you've mentioned Vortex Math. And on a, yeah. uh, I think a show or two back, three maybe, I posted a link regarding Vortex Math, but you've not spoken about it in, in a way that we would be, uh, if you're not familiar with it, like me, I, I don't know. I know you're referring to something, and I know there's a link, but I didn't look at it. Well, it's so, real simple. Okay. A lot of people call it numerology. It's basically when you take the numbers uh, uh, and add them up, what it, they all come up to one through nine, and all those numbers have specific frequency vibrations. Oh, damn. And so any number, so like like you're, we're talking about 130 being a four, right? Mm-hmm. One and three is four. That's how you get. That's that's basically, in a nutshell, simplistic terms, vortex math. Right. AKA numerology. Right, but I didn't realize it was named that. But I mean, I knew the vibrations had numbers and such. It comes back to sacred sacred geometry and things like this. Well, I'm a real simple kind of guy, and I, I don't have yeah. much of an edge indication. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes well, you, you won't even get that in a in a formal education anyway. Well, but sometimes <laughs> you guys throw things out there that sound real complicated, and then you explain them, and they're not really that that complicated if you got a basic understanding of it in the yeah. beginning. Well, that's the way all right. things are. So yeah. hearing vortex math, I'm thinking, hey, maybe they're doing math naked or something. I want to see what this <laughs> is. And it turns out to be just something simple. The Does numbers, that all sound right to you, Larry? I mean that. Did you want to add something? I'd love to, that? to do math naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just the numbers that they, when they're added together, they make up a certain number, or they're wrong. Yeah. Period. And that's see, in this world we're in now, right, with all this science crap that's been thrown our way that they called science, like climate change, shit like that, to bamboozle the public. Well, there's a lot of people still stuck in stupid and don't know there's two kinds of science. There's the kind that is, and there's the kind you hear about and read about on <laughs> newspapers and TV. So, hmm. yep. so you know, for you guys to make sense to somebody as slow-witted as me, it's got to be saying something. Because I, I heard the two of you from the beginning of the show. Er, uh, when Larry realized he made an error, he adjusted his error. And then after he did that, you went, oh, I get it. So It all clicked into right. place. Yeah. So the process made sense to the people that understood it. And that's all you're ever going to do. So the more it's people... It's easier to see something in your mind than to explain it to somebody else in nothing but words. It's Yeah, yeah. That's... yeah. But to the people that got an interest in this thing, to see you guys go through these experiments, is, it's interesting. Yeah. And it's not scripted, so it's real. So if they put yeah. their self through listening to the entire show, it's really worth it. Because yeah. you're, you're proving when you go, I don't get it, then Larry figures out where his mistake was or how better to explain it to you. And, and we're, we've gotten this far yeah. in five, six weeks where you're actually wrapping yeah. a fucking coil that you made yourself, Rob. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I will be in this week. Well, you're in the process of Hopefully it. Hopefully by next week I'll have some something to show for it. Yeah, or I'm going to send Hans your private emails from the last 10 years. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I don't even have those. <laughs> Shit. Hey, well, I tried to threaten. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. But, uh, okay, I so, am not a record keeper, right. man. You, can, you ain't going to find no records for me more than All right. Now, more than, uh, there's one more part of this. It's really – there's two parts that i got to ask you why. Okay, one, the question that, that's hit me – from other people outside asking is, is there a prototype to this design that you've been describing on the radio? Larry Woods. Yes, there is. Okay. That's, now they can refer to the link. Here we are. The information that you have available is not enough to support that belief, though. See? Because, you know, there's a lot of things you don't want to explain to everybody all at once. <laughs> well, there's there's a lot of safety factors involved with this coil. Thank you, Larry. Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Fantastic Planet. Don't look into the eye of the Gorgon. In simple terms, that means don't put your head over this silly thing. When you got it turned on, it'll kill you. Okay? 
But that being said, and I hate that phrase, when when you energize one of not the sixth circuit, but the next size bigger, the twelve circuit coil, when you energize that, there is no EMF magnetic field around the perimeter of the coil. That means that it won't even move a compass needle from the outside edge, only over the eye of the gorgon, the vortex, or the hole in the donut, where you get a magnetic field. And that magnetic field is intensified at least three times more than any other coil that you've been next to. So it, it uh, projects all the magnetics inward. Yeah. Yeah, this this captures all the magnetics and puts it out in a beam. Right. And that's the thing you said was like 30 miles up or something? Or went up. Uh, it'll go up five miles. Five now, miles. Three, it, three volts. Is that result doing it correctly or is that result doing it incorrectly? That result is doing it correctly. This could be used as a magnetic carrier wave for voice signal. That's not harmful. I mean, it, it it's directed. Well, like the directed energy weapon that they've got rotating around the planet. Okay. Hmm. Help, help. <laughs> uh, however... <laughs> I'm still on the coronavirus, Larry. I I can't I can't take my focus off <laughs> dying of the flu. Of time, yeah. Wait, <laughs> I have to go watch let, something. I'll be right back. Let me, <laughs> let me fix that statement. Uh, when this coil is operated properly, it'll be mm-hmm. operated at 54 cycles. Right. And 54 times 8 is 432, so it's the same <laughs> note, a wow. different octave, and it will not be harmful. Wow. See, and the math all works. Yeah. Wow. Right. And going back to vortex math for just a minute. Sure. Take your time. The, the symbol for vortex math is a circuit with 1 through 9 equally spaced on the outside. Okay. That that has a red line between three, six, and nine that makes a triangle. Yeah. That has a straight line between two and four. Uh, No, (laughs) sorry, excuse me. Between one and two, two and four, four and eight, eight and seven, seven and five back to one again. So that gives you the firing pattern. One, two, four, eight, seven, five is the direction of it, but the actual firing pattern is one, four, seven, two, eight, five. Okay. Yeah. And I'm looking at this little drawing that I made. Of yeah. the donut with the with the wrap and the and the, the triangle that it makes in it, it sure is reminiscent of the Illuminati eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you'll get an old uh, eye when you draw this on when you fully draw it out. There'll be an yeah. eye in the middle. Wow, yeah. you guys yeah, are a hoot. <laughs> oh, hey, I got something else I wanted to to bring up after this. So when you guys are all leveled and you want another topic, I've got it. Let me know. Okay. This has all been shown to us in in all the ancient, ancient stone carvings and cave paintings and everything. Yep. Right in your face. That's how they hide stuff, is they shove it right in your face, and you're so so busy pushing away, you don't see it. A lot of the original runes that people use to, to... signify their language are descriptions of machines and just the symbol. Uh, right. Yeah, you're talking about that. The, I've the seen how greens. from from the air when you look down at certain uh, structures, different places all over the world, you talked about it on one of the shows where yeah. they, 
they look you, like circuits. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, the stuff in your computer. And, and wait, wait a minute. How can this be a coincidence? Yeah, and those places are all connected underground by electrically conductive tunnels that supply the power to them. They're they're mm-hmm. on a macro scale instead of a micro scale. Great big instead of little bitty. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, the system really pushes small. Boy, they've pushed the shit out of that. Don't take up so much space. And now it's six feet of distance from the next guy. I'm confused. (laughs) Either you want me to hold him or you don't. (laughs) I can't hold him and not hold him at the same time. Make up your mind, please, sir. Anyway. But, uh, Larry, I got something that's kind of new to me. And that's, do you have anything that you really want to... Leave on record on the radio about Free Energy Special Interest Group. Because this is new to me. I, I'm not familiar. Yeah, it's it's a closed group. Uh, their Facebook page, we post a lot of educational information on it. And some of the guys show their circuit boards and things. Uh what we talk about in the in our Monday meeting, this is the, every Wednesday they have a speaker for a two hour show, uh, one hour devoted to each speaker. It's a good thing. Go go listen to those. They're very good. They've had uh, Victor Scharberger's grandson was on uh, about a month ago. It's not every Wednesday. It's one Wednesday a month. Uh, so there's there's some interesting and very enlightened people on those shows. Um, yeah, I'm looking on their YouTube I, page. Yeah, I posted it in the uh, in the notes for the show as well. But I, okay. I just wanted you to make a point of what exactly all that was, so that people would you know take a look. Well, that that's a, a free energy group, uh, an open source group that is dedicated to getting free energy inventions that work to the public. Uh, There's a group of 21 of us internationally that meet every Monday for four to five hours. We go through new, new updates on people's inventions, and everybody's testing everybody else's stuff. So it's it's all independent testing. Are uh, are you using cameras to see, or are you having the difficulty yeah. of that? Ah, see, there you go. That yeah, that we, seeing things with your own eyes kind of part that changes the whole game. You know, yeah, it's it, it, it's one thing to promise you I I've got a yellow cat in my pocket. It's another to produce it. <laughs> mm, just yeah, saying. It, Show and tell group. Okay, uh, and and then we have an educational time where the people that understand hmm. the new developments explain them in their own words. Wow. That way we're that way we're getting everybody in that whole group. There's 21 of us, <laughs> and everyone is a specialist wow. in a different field. Yeah. What a group. So so yeah. once one group gets it, then They'll explain it in their words, and that'll bring it to the rest of us. Uh, it's it's a marvelous group, massive uh, brain trust. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of the best think tanks that I've ever been involved with. You're more like following a recipe than, uh, well, I don't know. I would I would say this free free thinking ap- applies to things that don't seem like there's so much free thinking. Like I would normally look at science and think, oh, these guys can make up their own mind. But you just told me they could. And Rob just proved that with a little patience and, okay, oops, I made a mistake, let's let's correct it, and that you could both come up to the same answer at the same time without seeing it. So that in itself, to me, means something. Because, hmm, yeah, I... I <laughs> well, yeah, but see, the outcome of what you're talking about building here is incredible. It really, yeah. it really is. Well, usually when something good happens, uh, the government will step in and fuck with it. 
and destroy it yeah. or hide it or take it or kill everybody that ever heard of it. And, you know, it's gotten to this. Yeah, I think it's coming out, though, because it's... it's yeah, you're international about. for crying out loud. People are going to be accountable well, for this. Yeah, that, and the knowledge yeah. the knowledge is out there. Yes, yeah. And it's starting it, most definitely. It's, mm. it's, it's out there. And like I said, hell, I just, in two minutes last week or whenever it was, went and looked up 5K generators and found that that other one, that magnetron and, or magnetomaton or whatever. They the one it. I posted that couple weeks back? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, some kind of, ma- that they were taking orders for. They weren't even built. They were taking orders to make them. Magnetomatics, yeah. They make their yeah. uh, bearings and gears. Yeah. Okay, now that's different. That's make, uh, well, it's a, it's a different thing. I mean, they, the, hmm. Magnetic ears. Uh, yeah, their their coils are all different than these and everything. There's thousands of people out there making stuff that works. That was something else. There was another one I found that was a generator. It's a five kilowatt generator. It had all the bells and whistles. Looked all fancy. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's the one I'm thinking of because I posted it in the notes, I believe. Yeah. And both of you were like, "Yeah, sure." Cause it had internal moving parts or something, and it just didn't make well, sense. Uh, yeah. There's, it was a, it was, a, a, not a bad deal or anything. Okay, I mean, not a bad deal, but an, there wasn't any it was, to buy. It wasn't what you're doing. It, it, you're they, funding them to to make them. Yeah, well, they haven't actually sold any yet. They've just had right. Had, they're uh, they're taking applications, pre-orders, pre-orders or yeah, whatever. Yeah, bullshit, nonsense. Yeah, but they're selling a five kilowatt generator for eight thousand dollars. Ah, I see. But yeah. it supposedly does basically the same thing we're claiming mm. is generate uh, electricity over an extended period of time with no fuel. Um, although theirs has moving parts and a battery and these other things that can go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oops. You know. And so, I mean, I'm not trying to take anything away from them at all. I mean, me neither. I'm just being real. I'm I've a, got something that works, and it works. Yeah, but come on, I'm a then, simple. Hey, wow. I'm all for it. I'm, I don't care as long as the technology nah. is getting out there to break humanity away from dependence on these fucking oligarchs. Okay, I agree with that part, but I'm still a simple guy, and if it's got moving parts that can wear out, I know. Eh. Because oh, yeah. that's what everything we do have has moving parts. Made out of crap that will eventually fall apart. So, no, yeah. that's not what I'm looking for. I want something that's made once, lasts right. for the fucking lifetime. What the fuck is a big deal? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they made hemp illegal. That's right, guys. I forgot. What was I thinking? Yeah, what's the matter for do you? Well, if if you had the ability to make these materials, uh, make these things that you're using, make some of the components out of hemp, would that be an advantage to you in any way? Certainly. Can you well, you're tell me how? Printer, printer than graphene. Well, how would that improve anything? That would make it more conductive. What, the donut? Yeah. But, no, no, don't print the donut in graphene. Print the wire. Oh, graphene. Wire. graphene. Okay. Instead of using copper. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. well see, they, these well, ideas. Well, all I'm saying to you guys, because I'm not, I'm not the guy that knows everything. I'm the little guy here, right? And what I know about wire is copper. What other kind is there, Johnny? What are you from another planet? See, I never heard there was any other kind of conductor that could replace copper until you you mentioned the graphite. Any any metallic substance, anything any conductor, that electricity can can be a wire. But you're looking for the thing that'll produce the most something, right? Right. I I made the first coils that I made, trying to come up with something that wouldn't heat, out of insulated steel. Oh yeah. Yeah. How big? Boy, was that a bad idea? Yeah, uh, it was. It was about twenty-two gauge. Oh yeah, made the wow. best heaters I ever came up with. What? What'd you put the fire out with? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, see, and I'm a simpleton, but I know a few things about a few things, and I would go, wait a minute, you get that hot, you're in trouble. But I <laughs> had a three see, foot coil of that with 12 volts, and it glowed red immediately, burned all the insulation off of it and everything. Well, all, uh, the, all these things over the years that we've been told are safe for us are truly not safe for us. But we don't know that because guess who told them that we're safe? The government. Half the shit that we handle every day, we shouldn't put our hands on in the first place. And I mean, uh, I've been lucky because I don't have a, a cell phone anymore. I got rid of that. Made my wife mad, but eh, she'll she'll live. And uh, there's things that I won't do. The internet obviously is not one of them. <laughs> But I, I've heard the <laughs> I've heard the scuttlebutt or read the scuttlebutt on the internet that they're going to shut the internet down in the phones for seventy two hours. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> teenagers will go insane. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> Remember when we were young and there was none of this shit? <laughs> yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. That's how you win. Is you remember where you came from. Yeah, know what I mean or not? I'm bragging about being an old guy. <laughs> oh, fart. hey man, I can I can have my bread buttered or not buttered. It doesn't matter to me. I don't have a preference. Well, on the uh, uh, the donut front, ah, okay. uh, I have uh, my guy has uh, designed the uh, sections to build an 18 inch coil. Good boy. So. <laughs> That is <laughs> that's coming along. <laughs> First well, time Rob's that. been called a boy in about thirty yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Larry. You're showing your age. Don't you show your house age. House. So I've got the 18 inch coil project in the works. Um, so that all being said, and I think I've got everything I need to to at least get to the the wrapping done. Um, okay. I want to move on. Before he finishes writing his program, yeah, get one wrap of wire or one wrap of string at least around that coil so that you can see what the pattern is going to be and let him see that and see if he can't put that on. It's a phi relationship in the spiral. A phi? Phi. P-H-I. Phi. 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 Okay, a phi relationship. 1.617. 1.617. Okay. All right. He might be able to do something with that. Oh, there He's was a... electrical engineer, by the way. There was a comment in the, in the RLM chat about aluminum is lighter and cheaper. Does, so does that weigh into the equation, too, is lighter and cheaper, or it, does aluminum not work as well as you want it to? It is lighter and cheaper, mm -hmm. but you have to go one wire size larger to carry the same amperage in aluminum wire. Okay. So you 20 gauge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you couldn't get as many wraps. Yeah, you couldn't get as many wraps. Uh, and aluminum is uh, not specifically magnetic unless it's charged properly. Right. So so that would would limit and restrict your magnetic field. Uh huh. So it's not really a good idea when you're looking for a power coil. Right. An aluminum coil will work in a lot of things, but it's just not as efficient. Okay. Yeah. Well right, but the, you know, it was I'll be a curious fair to see question. how well silver know. wire would work, though. Uh, silver is more conductive than copper, so it would give you a higher output. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. What about the expense? But let's talk about expense. The An iron core coil that's 8 inches around like these only can handle 1,500 milliamps. And that's a little bit bigger than an inch thick. That weighs about seven pounds, and it costs $105. Mm -hmm. 
the wires that they would put around a toroidal coil like that, just wrapped round and round, would probably be a thousand feet. So you got a thousand foot of wire at uh, a 22 gauge wire that would be what, 50 bucks? Uh, and a hundred dollar coil, iron core. So that's 150 bucks anyway. With a donut, what's it cost to need to print the donut? 20 bucks? Mm, and you, no. And how, much, how much did the wire t cost? <coughs> the wire. <coughs> The wire was like twelve bucks. Uh, the coil, I'd have to bring it up, but it was like I don't know, two dollars and twenty eight cents or something. Okay, so that was with the uh, PLA plastic. The the ABS plastic is it's uh, actually about the same. So how much does that make? I get a I get a whole roll of plastic uh, filament for twenty two dollars, and okay. I can make. Probably two or three, maybe four coils out of one. Okay. At least. Uh, and, and how much was your wire? Like 12 bucks. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, so you're talking less than 50 bucks to make a coil if you're not counting anything for your time. Right. So you're going to be spending hours and hours and hours winding this thing. Okay, so... And it's going to have to go in a Faraday cage to keep the idiots out of it. No right. offense to anybody. If you're an idiot, you already know it. And if you don't know it, that's all right. Somebody will tell you soon. Well, <laughs> when you say it like that, it kind of loses its charm. <laughs> but, I mean, technically, I mean, I would... I don't know. I wouldn't know. I'd have to assume a lot of shit that shouldn't be assumed when you're messing with stuff like this. You know, Rob has a background in it, and he's understanding in way more detail what you're explaining than I am. And I'm still following along. Well, by the time we're Just done, I will lead Rob through a testing procedure hmm. and safety procedure so that he won't hurt anybody or himself. Well, and you know, we'll not have a bed bug killer. And these impromptu kind of unplanned it's been fun but maybe we might want to have a, a, a pre uh, list of questions for the show to so we don't have so much lag in air time and, and you can do your figuring and your accounting but uh, you'll be prepared for it to some degree you know do it yeah. live but have the questions already ready yeah mm -hmm. just Plus a suggestion I put a silver wire for $33 so, okay. So yeah, you can uh, make it about hundred about a hundred and forty bucks. I could do an eight inch coil in silver. And with straight twelve or uh, three volts DC, that'll give you thirty amps to work with. Now, yeah. thirty amps at three volts is only ninety watts, right? So it, it's at that size, it's not going to give you a lot of power, but it will prove that this multiplies the amperage that you can get out of a wire. Right. And as we were saying last week, that all is just in the magnetic field and the manipulation of it. Right. So... That's that. Um, I'd like to move on to my next topic, which is okay. 5G. Ah! <laughs> Live in a metal teepee. Yeah. And uh, I briefly asked you before the show, uh, okay, everything is frequency. Obviously, we know this. Um, yeah. There are good frequencies and bad frequencies, uh, frequencies that are are harmonically good for us and harmonically bad for us. Uh, 5G, uh, which is actually just a protocol, it's actually the, the gigahertz radiation. They use these antennas. 
It doesn't even have to be 5G. It can be 4G. They can do the same things with 3G and 4G. Uh, it's the radiation. It's the 30 gigahertz radiation that is the real threat and danger. So the whole 5G uh, red herring really is what it is because um, it's not the 5G. It's the it's the high frequency radiation that they're broadcasting in it on. That is the problem. So my question to you, Larry, is knowing that every frequency has a counteracting frequency that you can counteract that frequency with, um, can we build some type of unit that will counteract the uh, gigahertz frequencies that they're using to broadcast as 5G? Yeah, that that kind of a system is easily built. However, 5G is every 200 feet at streetlight level as well as in thousands of satellites around the outside of the world. Right. So, so it would have to be a, a localized deal, like for a household. Yeah, yeah. Like, but but then you, it would be directional. You would have to point it at a specific antenna, and that's okay for that and antenna. And take it on the directional? Well, yeah, you could. And make, like, make a bubble? I don't think that that would be possible with the way that it's operating. All they would have to do is adjust the frequency. Uh -huh. And I'm sure that that frequency is modulated. That it goes up and down. Uh -huh. um, so you'd have to have something that, that senses that signal, the modulation, and, and tracks along with it to keep your system tuned to it. Yeah, exactly. It would just be more more electronic stuff. Yeah. Uh, but that that would be a pretty expensive system. Yeah. Uh, what 5G is, is so many things. Uh, first of all, everybody knows it's a military patent for a crowd control weapon. That's basically yeah. what it is. When the the five G that's rolled out here now is uh, less than sixty gigahertz. Yeah, they're they're running on the same towers as the three and four G at two point four and five gigahertz. Right, right, uh, and and that's not it's bad. It's got a few twenty three gigahertz. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's towers. not uh, that bad. So none of it's good yeah, for you. But yeah, it's yeah, none of it's good for you. But it yeah. uh, it's been shown to cause the the cells not to be able to absorb oxygen. People would literally suffocate. And five G is designed to operate all the way up to three hundred gigahertz. Yeah, and that's just insane. Yeah, that's absolutely lethal. It's like it's like these backscatter scanners they have at the airports. It's the same kind of thing, only yeah. broadcasting it on a massive scale. Yeah. With 5G, they can look into your house physically, yeah. see through the roof, see what's, who's in there, what's in there. Yeah. And, and that's from space. Yeah. All 5G is is mass surveillance of every single individual on the planet. Wait a minute. Well, I, I read wait. that I read that it doesn't penetrate lead paint. Is that true? That's true. But lead paint is unlawful. So <laughs> what do I care that. about unlawful if my ass is on the line? Yeah, try I'm breaking some though. fucking laws. They're going to write yeah. laws that I haven't thought of breaking yet. Yeah. And how many people actually died from lead poisoning from paint? Eleven. <laughs> all all eleven of them. They were all uh, eleven hit by the same lead poisoning truck. Yeah. <laughs> they were just, carrying paint. The just manipulation of the fucking information as always. It? I, it's just, yeah. Come on, Tesla is a brand name on a fucking car that doesn't run. Give me a break. 
<laughs> you see anyway. people bragging about their Teslas anymore? I haven't well, seen any of that in weeks. <laughs> even though even though it would be expensive, I'd still uh, like to at least have a understanding of what it might consist of. What? The system to block 5G or raise that radiation altogether. I believe. Or is you, I are believe, you better off just in a Faraday cage? But I believe somebody also said you can spray paint a uh, certain color of paint on the, the, it, the it itself. Zinc. 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 That is, it was yeah. you, Larry. Yeah. Ah, just and help me. <laughs> zinc paint. Or it's not just the color. It's got to actually have some zinc in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, galvanizing paint. Yeah, will do it, and it's the same color as their yeah. as their antenna. Because I get to the same point you were making earlier. There's one on every corner, or there will be eventually. I've seen you links know. of people taking them down. Oh yeah. So I don't know well, if those all, are real or not. That that kind of uh, activism. So, <sighs> I don't want them to fry my brain like a marshmallow, Uncle Rob. It's not for everybody, you know. <laughs> Please don't let them brain, don't let them brain fry me. Well, yeah, that's the whole point here. That's what we're trying to do. Don't well, give your kid a cell phone when they're three years old. I don't. Yeah, I don't have that problem. Don't let your kids go to school with Wi-Fi <laughs> and just paralyze the girls. Far too late here to tell you that. Well, yeah, I agree with your premise there, Larry, on the, on the schools, but it's everywhere. Yeah, it's in everybody. Don't matter. It's in their homes. Everybody in their homes got a Wi-Fi router. Yep. Go hardwire. Well, I know. I but, agree. Well, right, I, but they don't. But you know, so few people are even on the internet anyway. People into that. I mean, it's just it's way too convenient. Um, well, uh, there's plenty of other reasons not to send your kid off to a brainwashing institution than, than the <laughs> Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> there's so much proof. Look around you. Look who's sitting in seats of power. Uh, are these people are serious? This is who gets elected. <laughs> yeah, right. Dying fucking Feinstein. And what's your other name? Pelosi? <laughs> no, but we're the ones that elect them. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I never yeah. left. Single one of them fuckers no. doesn't matter. Yeah, it, 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 if you didn't vote, uh, but well, well, Rob, if you didn't vote, the electoral college would choose for you in your stead. So voting is just a sham, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's, it's a waste of time. They tell you that right up front. I'm but, on building a coil or something, doing something useful. With my okay. time, I mean, it's, it's okay. Whoa, okay, well. Hmm. You, you can't know. you can't really blame people for what they've been brainwashed into believing. <laughs> it's insane. That's what they say about us. When when you have the ability to look at something and doubt it, well, there's something wrong with you. It's a mental disorder. I don't got time for that bullshit. Well, there you go. There's a lot of folk out there that do, and sadly, there's more of them than there is of us. So that's, that's why that's. That's why what Larry is doing is happening today is because these thieves behind him buried all this stuff so that it couldn't be found. These are not new answers. This is old technology brought to the forefront, and you're using modern technology to accomplish a finished product. But it's the old ideas, not the new ones. There are no new ones. Yeah, I, I'm, I agree with that. I'm Not being sure. a dummy, dumbhead, just you know, pontificating how I see this stuff. Because you guys are educated and, and you have a familiarity with what you're talking about. I don't have. Wait a minute. What? Did you just say I was educated? Not necessarily. I, I'm familiar I with. A, I have a tenth grade education. Okay, but familiar with the technical process to a layman is education. See, they just been taught that it's yeah. go to this ritual yeah. fucking building and pray to the guy in the robe and get tapped on the head like a good little dog and get your piece of paper. And I, I found I that quite read. insulting. Not, I just love a lot of shit because I like to read yeah. it. I love science. Mm. So, anyway. You proved it, um, mister. Now make us a donut. <laughs> I already have the donut. I'm making a coil now. I was being funny. Oh. Okay. So, um, what's next on what the else? agenda? Yeah, what else? Fishing Larry, report. 
fishing. Yeah, yeah, that's good shit. Yeah, weekly fishing report went yesterday. Yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, yesterday we set a record high temperature. So yeah, it was. It was phenomenal out there. Uh, started out with a south wind that blew us along a whole shoreline. By the time we had fished that, it was two or three hours later, and the north wind picked up. We did not even use the motor to get all the way about a mile and a half from the north end of the lake back to where we put the boats up. Because the wind was blowing so hard that that little lake was white capping. Wow. What does it take to make a wave break? One third the altitude of the base width, and that wave will crest. Huh. But it was a beautiful day. Uh, the only lures that caught any fish at all, only caught two, were the lures that we make. And I was just tickled to death about that. I was using worms and crankbaits and everything else. And it all turned out that our bait was the only thing that caught fish. Nice. Yay. Uh, hey, Larry, you got, got, got time for a question from the chat room? Yes. Yes. Spam, his name, who's duh, he wants to know, uh, ask Larry how Clay Douglas is doing. I don't know if it's a joke or a serious question. Sometimes he's funny. Oh, Wow. I haven't talked to Clay for years, uh, three or four years, two or three years anyway. Uh, I don't know how he's doing. I hope he's all right. Clay was a, a radio personality that I did a couple of shows with a few years back. Okay. Wow. Excellent. I don't really know. Sorry. Well, he just asked. There you go. Yeah. So at least you know but he asked the question. He heard, probably heard your heard you on his show before. But you Maybe. did say to if I saw a question to let you know. Yeah. Please. And he yeah. wrote it in a really hard. Uh, I got a black screen with colored letters, and he wrote it in blue, on black, so it was kind of yeah. hard to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Smart guys. Ah, they're so funny. But then, yeah, Grim when he saw my. Uh, my chat screen for RLM, he said, what the fuck? Because <laughs> my letters are white, but my background is black. Yeah. So the colored, when they come in in colors, like certain colors against black are just Yeah, drag. it doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So anyway. Yeah, I had mine set that way for a short time, but it was way too annoying. But see, you know a lot of people too, Larry. You've made the, you know, you've, Made the round, so to speak. People know who you are. They love the connections, yeah. So I've been talking about free energy for quite a few years now on quite a few different programs. And the public is persuaded to ignore you because you're a raven nut job. Don't you know? Absolutely. You're crazy, man. There's something fucking yeah. wrong with you. You want free? Free? Must work, slaves. And I'm the crazy old man that throws knives and spears and hatchets in his backyard. Well, you know, so few people <laughs> really know about Tesla wanting to give us electricity as a gift. This is what my contribution to you. And it turned into Westinghouse and his fucking uh, meters. Yeah. And you know they've had that ever since. It's not, not only did they deprive us of it, they kept it for themselves. <laughs> and they've had it. Yeah. All this time. Oh, yeah. Sure. We're gonna let something like that go. But how did they get? It, how did they get it uh, delivered to them right in front of us without us knowing? That's the beauty of this whole game. We're all a bunch of sheep in the long run. Yeah. You know, no matter how important or smart I think I might be, nah, these fuckers in power right. have got me whooped. I could never remember find. The, I could never MH, do this to people. Remember MH370. Yeah, plane, the plane that went down. Yeah. yeah, you know it was on that, right? Did you know yeah, about that? Yeah, I sure do. There Tell was, us what you know, Larry. Uh, semiconductor patent holders were on that plane, and the only one of the board that was the patent holders that wasn't on that plane, what was he, a Rothschild? Rockefeller. Rockefeller, okay. So, yeah, 
be careful what you do. Prototype, you do the, prototype on, the prototype was on the plane too, wasn't it? Yeah. The prototype, yeah. all the people that developed it all died in that plane crash. Oh, I see the bluebird happiness. Wow. Horrible. And leaving leaving Rockefeller with the patent. Oh, and there the prototype. There and you the go. prototype, if truth be known. Yeah. What's new? Well, you know, there's there's the importance, too, of doing a weekly thing where we all three meet, so we all know we're all still here to meet. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, on top of that, because, yeah. you know, yeah. the world has changed in the last couple of months to a point of stupidity that I can't even fathom they're going along with. Well, that's that's why I want to move this thing along as fast as we can, because we don't have a lot of time. I, I do think this is a test run still. Oh, it's yeah, crazy. the drill. This is the drill to see if it would work. They haven't even done yeah. anything yet. Wait till well, these it's, idiots. It's a constant. It's a constant drill, one after another, and each time is just ratcheting up a little more, a little more every time. Wait till these idiots start rolling up to accept the coronavirus inoculation. That's yeah. where. That's where you're. See, right now, like I said in, earlier, the, the neighbor tells me the hospital here is empty. This is a retirement yeah. village. If there was a coronavirus and these people were going through all this drama for any reason. The hospital would be filled. There's nobody there. Yeah. That, that means that yeah, we're all fucking yeah. healthy. And, and then you can find reports of that all over. That's right. Not just that. And then what they do is they report that as see how well the lockdown is working. Yeah. And no. everybody that dies from anything that happens to have the virus, no matter what they die of, yep. is attributed to the virus. So the it's a marketing scheme. Just yeah. like always, we're being had yeah. like sheep. Uh, some people are buying it still. And there's a uh, there's vaccine. <laughs> there's no illness. It's a flu. Big deal. Eat some it's vitamin C orange. and get out in the sun for five minutes a day, you lazy bastard, and quit whining. It's a Trojan orange virus. <laughs> I mean, it's crying out loud, my next door neighbor is a little a few years older than me, right? And he's outside doing his yard work today when I was out there. Doing my yard work. So all us old farts who were out there last year doing our fucking yard work, we're still out there doing it. So my, oh man, I feel bad for people that are terrified to go outside and, and, and do anything because they could get sick and die. When the depression will get you before the fucking corona will. <laughs> this is there devastating. Is no there is no virus in the world that can live in salt water. <laughs> there you go. There's you another a cold saline nasal spray you can get at any dime drugstore. The answers are too simple as Thanks usual, Larry. Who'd believe it? It's just, see, you guys are crazy. That's all there is to it. I want so, to see your time, Mr. I'm figuring that the people that are taking the time to listen to what you have to say, they're crazy too, and I like them. <laughs> I kind of like crazy people. They're entertaining. It's my favorite kind of people. Hey, if you guys pull this off, what you're talking about building on a radio program and actually from one side of the country to the other, well, maybe not that far, but different states over the Internet, and you accomplish this, it's going to be important. To me, because I, I get to watch it. <laughs> well, I, your enthusiasm towards it goes up every week instead of down, mister. I'm engaging yeah. your tone. Yep. I love, I and love it. Man, man, when you catch Larry in something that... Wait, what, what, what? I, I geek out on this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, but Larry, Larry hey, he makes an error here and there. He's a human being. and But when he catches yeah. the error, he's, oh, oops, what have I done? So, yeah, there's a... a there's a humanity to this that is not usual for me. I get I to watch being the sharpest pencil in the box. Ah, that doesn't matter. You you have the sharpest pencil yeah. in the box. You have, the <laughs> you have the knowledge that I was seeking. And a sharpener. See? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this 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 gave me everything I need to complete the puzzle, so this particular show finished that? So you're comfortable by, again? By the, yeah, by next week I should have some kind of something to Okay. Now when you have 
when you have this thing assembled, right? Because I keep hearing Larry say that the eye of it is dangerous if it's in use, period. Not if it's just right. laying dormant on a table somewhere. It can't hurt right. you, right? Right. Right. So until you activate it by some form of power, whatever the hell that means, it's safe to handle. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I got a little confused. <laughs> I no, was thinking, it, wait it a minute. Start, it doesn't just start producing power on its own. Yeah, yeah, there's there's two ways that you're going to get hurt on this while you're making it. You're going to burn your fingers with a hot glue gun. That's one. That's the most prevalent. And you might poke the end of your finger with the end of the wire. <laughs> Ooh, the hazards of electronics. Ooh, you guys are such yep. daredevils. Hey, you're not there crossing you over Grand Canyon on a skateboard, you big sissy. Grow up. <laughs> It's a grueling job, but uh, somebody's got to do it. Might as well be me. Well, this is going to hopefully not attract too much attention for a while, but it sure is an interesting story to hear. Cause, uh, yeah. Well, I've yeah, read, I hope I've, I don't get a visit. <laughs> right, but I've read about te- – well, I'm not talking about the negative so much as the positive. I've read about Tesla. And what little bit of stuff there was available for me to see, took a look at. Some of it was, whoa, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at here. And some of it was other people's interpretations of what he was doing. So I feel kind of like a, a stand, like I'm standing by watching other people do shit. And a lot of my belief system is based on trust. I trust you to tell me the truth. And I judge life that way. If I don't trust you, I don't believe you. There you go. So, but seeing it happen, <laughs> oh, you know, even over the radio, because I can hear your tone and you judging, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't work. And I don't even know what the hell you're talking about, what doesn't work. This whole thing doesn't work. But you're going to make it work, and I'm, I'm a convinced follower, <laughs> you poor bastards. <laughs> you convinced me. Tesla's patents are are the best things to study but keep in mind that on a lot of his patents he put the spark gap on the wrong side of the capacitor just keep that in mind when your stuff doesn't work move the spark gap what is exactly a spark gap as the power is being generated It's going through a wire that has a small distance between it and the next wire. Oh, like a spark plug in a gas. Yeah, that creates a spark, and they just collect that through a capacitor. Oh, so that's got to be at a certain gap. Think think Frankenstein. You you remember those two big posts that come up, and they have the little... Oh, yeah. Yeah. The knobs at the top and the sparks go in between them. That's a giant spark gap. Yep. Wow. and that's where you collect your power in some cases. Hmm. Well, wow. see, all this in some... Wow. Electricity is so difficult. To me. Maybe not to you guys, but... It's... it's. I mean, the basics are easy to get. But then it gets complicated. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard you guys talking about these little complications. But it seems to me, though, if you understand the math, that getting to the answer is a whole lot easier. <laughs> well, it's like so, Larry said. We, we only we've only been using three parts of the formula, and leaving out the frequency and vibration, or magnetism. And that was what you were lacking on top of it. So when you said it, you went, "Oh, yeah, okay." It's like when he when he defined what what the gap was. Oh, yeah, like a spark plug. Yeah, okay, I get that. Because if they're not, or if they're dirty. You know, they need to be cleaned. Some people don't take care of an engine. They don't understand why the car makes noise when it runs. Uh, well, yeah. Ever hear of maintenance? I mean, I notice you have fingernails that are four inches long. <laughs> you can't seem to find the time to open a book and keep your car running, though. <laughs> Never mind. Yep. Well, that little red light came on, but it wouldn't turn off. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, the oil light. Uh, I put more gas in it. Uh, uh, too late. 
So how is the gas situation in America right now? Is gas really as cheap as I've been reading? A dollar fifty six yesterday. Damn. Dollar forty seven here. Wow. Yeah. And that's still too much. It's only about a dollar twenty more than it's worth, but no well with yeah. with the dollar value I'd say it's worth about two cents a gallon. But uh wow, that's still cheap considering uh, yeah. especially compared to here. Compared to three fifty what it was a few years ago. So what are yeah. the benefits of shutting all these businesses down and stopping people from going in? What what could possibly be going on? Because it doesn't seem to make sense to me. And where I live, it, there's no way that anything more could be done than what was already happening. They're already old people. So, hmm, I, I don't see the results. I'm not getting it. You know, it's I like... I don't it's really happening here in, in my part of the country. Okay, what's not really happening? Because I'm seeing action activity and bodies out there. But yeah, people aren't staying home. People are still going out to eat and just picking it up at the door of the restaurant. Uh, people are still going to the Dollar General stores and and the grocery stores. And hmm. traffic is a little bit lighter than normal, but that's because people aren't working. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I saw Copenhagen, it was uh, a couple of weeks ago. There was nothing. Nobody was moving anywhere. And then, really? well, my my sister and brother in law live there. Sister in law and brother in law and the nephew live in Copenhagen. So I get yeah. live updates whenever they come by. They came by today. Right. They're here now. So I get to find out what's really going on in the city, and then I get yeah. to read about all the shit that's going on, you know, through Hansel on the internet and whatnot. Yeah. And all that stuff's a big play. It's performance from the government. Yeah. Because yeah. For they're not. Well, we've got a hotel being built down the street from us. And wow. They have. They've been nonstop. They working on the school over here the other way, and they've huh. been working nonstop. Um, my favorite breakfast place is going to close Saturday. They've been doing the drive-through. They had a drive-through anyway, so they they've been running that. But they're closing shop Saturday. Wow. And this is a small the pandemic is over. But it's a small uh it's a small real food. Pop. Oh, good food, real home. Yeah. Stuff. See, they're gonna uh, do away with all that. I think they're yeah. doing that here too. The restaurants are Yeah, still yeah, closed. they're 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 pushing everybody into Walmart's what they're doing. Yeah, the fast food places here have been open the whole damn time, but the places to go get oh, a, yeah. a decent all, meal, they're all not the crap food places, yeah. All the crap food places are full steam. And yet the public does not see a fucking scam being performed right to their faces. Yeah. They're they're still abiding by, you know, whatever the queen says. Because that's the yeah. way they are. America, same fucking thing. Now, come on. It's not yeah. my fault. But if they said it on TV, it's got to be true. Sadly, I believe that's where we are. And even if you're on the oh, cell phone or the Internet, it's the same crap. Because there's only like half the room that uh, is calling this thing a hoax, and the other half is supporting the hoax. And wow, mm -hmm. how can you support yeah. this? What, what reality can you fucking see to this fucking hoax? Sorry about the language, guys, but oh, hey, I mean, I've never seen any. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life, and I've read about stuff like this, but never thought it would ever happen while I was alive. Yeah, uh, you know, um, I've been expecting it for okay, but decades. What, what's but, what's but the it's goal? Still, it's, what are they trying it's to do? It's still pretty. I, that's what um, I don't get. The ultimate goal is they want to, they wrote it in stone. That's what they're trying to do. Yep. They wrote it in stone. They well, want the house all dead and gone. Wow. Well, we're going to do that anyway, but. Why the rush? <laughs> My wife um, has because it. because their system is collapsing. That's that's well, why is it happening right now? Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. banking system was about to collapse and is about to collapse and is collapsing. Mm -hmm. The scam can't be held up any longer. There's not any more lemmings at the bottom to buy into it to keep the thing going. They think four trillion dollars was going to stall it, and it seems no. like it conned the public into believing it. 
they're buying this lockdown shit without question. Uh, enough of them. Without even enough so of much. Them are. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And there's that's, video. That's what I didn't. That's what I was hoping not to see. Is is the people rolling over like they are? Uh, it's so disheartening. Well, right, and if you're a denier, just rolling over, rolling over, and taking it, you know, it's just like, okay, I'm dreading Dude. having having anybody ask me out outside in the real world here what I think, because I'll tell them, but they got to yeah. ask. I'm not going to volunteer it, <clears throat> but if yeah. they ask me, fuck, this is a fucking hoax. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I and the, you might want to give them a little bit of a disclaimer. Are you sure you really want to know? <laughs> yeah, but see, the the give kids a, give them an out before you really lay it on them. <laughs> the kids I know from town, the younger guys I mentioned about on the radio, I yeah. ran into them during the first couple of days. I was going to the store. I got to pass their apartment to go, and they were out smoking, and we were yeah. talking about it being a hoax. And the very next yeah. day, I see him getting a train to go to. Hellrod to go play music. So I went, oh, he's, he's mean. He means what he says. He's not just talking. Yeah. You know, and all these other so, people with their damn distance and coughing and all yeah. these things. Okay. Here's what I'm Mask. pissed off about. These stickers are down on the grocery store two weeks into a manufacturing shutdown. Where did the stickers come from? <laughs> right. Everything's shut down. We can't make anything. We can't do anything. But we've got these stickers and plastic shields for your safety already made and already delivered. Already set to go. And and yet, the public doesn't really get... Wait a minute. Isn't that a little fast for government? Usually, mm-hmm. it takes months to get something approved. And maybe they'll mm-hmm. spend the money. But this was like, boom. Okay, yep. well, you guys, you know, this is preaching to the choir, but we're we're on a radio podcast, and I know it doesn't belong on it dropping the coil, but your concept of energy is so opposite of what the public is understanding that it's frightening to them, not to me. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I want to see one of you brainiacs actually do this fucking thing and make one. And, sh- and make it work. Make it so, number one. Well, Larry's already done that. Well, uh, now it's your turn. Yeah. We, but we've talked about all the people between you and the power plant giving you their bad stuff. True. Yeah. That makes your voltage and amperage not start at the same time. With these coils, you get clean power. It has none of that nasty stuff from your neighbors because it's generated from your original source where you are that that means that your equipment everything that you're operating off of this will run cooler and last longer yep no brownouts no spikes no electrical storm shutting you off no emp killing you the only thing that the EMP would do to this is shut off your electronic gear. Your power would still be going. Oh, that's right. Uh huh. No shit. And that EMP might, through power. That oh, that just sent. That might be a good thing. Yeah. Because because the modulating board's going to be inside the Faraday cage. It will not be affected by any MP bolts by man or the sun. Right. Okay, when does the Faraday cage part come into the assembly part of the finished product? And, That's and, the last step. That's the pretty box that it goes in. And, and you know, explain, well, what exactly is uh, the point of all this cage thing and why do I need it? What would happen okay. if I didn't have me a good, well-made Faraday cage? What if it was a, a second-rate made Faraday cage? Would it still do what it's supposed to? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, yeah. what if I went to, you know, my Jew buddy and got a, you know, a discounted Faraday cage to replace your cage at a better price? You know, that okay. kind of crap. That, that, sh- that cut-and-cost crap thinking that people do when they're... Trying to save money, and they're not concerned about the finished product. 
depending upon the magnitude of the EMP pulse on the strength of the electromagnetic pulse that you're receiving or plan to receive, you could use copper screen to make a Faraday cage. What if, as the smaller the, the smaller the uh, hatch work in the screen, the smaller the wavelength that it will will uh, block. So you could have one for certain Faraday cages that just had a four inch grid on your wall. And some of them, it would have to be screen size, depending upon what you're trying to block. And some things, it would have to be a solid cage. We plan on putting a solid cage so that absolutely nothing can get through it. However, one thing that you must remember about a Faraday cage is that it's got to have a ground source. Without a ground source, it will saturate and possibly shock you. All right. It'll become a battery or a capacitor. It'll become a capacitor, yeah. Yeah, that's all Faraday cages anyway, basically. Yeah, it's just a, it just picks up all the stray energy. And blocks which, is, which is why there should be a power reclamation circuit in every piece of Faraday clothing that the military makes, but there's not. Right. Uh, we wanted to do that to start with is make uh, at least convert military Faraday clothing into something with a battery charger in it so you can charge your cell phone. Damn. Damn. Blocking. So you just brought up something that most people never even conceived or heard of, and that's Faraday clothing. Yeah. Military. You ever stuff. heard of that, Flash? Yeah, Larry's used it before. Oh, other than here? <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Okay. But I have Any, seen... I, I Anybody did, in the chat channel that's heard of Faraday clothing before, speak up. No, other but... Other than Hans. I saw, this, <laughs> I saw this link of a guy in military, like some kind of a camouflage-looking uniform. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know if it's trick photography, but they showed him crossing a patch of uh, surface, and he seemed to disappear for like two seconds and then reappear again. And they were claiming it was light bouncing off this special clothing he was wearing. But I didn't know if yeah. it was just a link making some joke or not. You know, because people no, make things that true. aren't true. They make them look real. I watch movies all the time. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen people do on TV. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't get that deep, but hey. They had to have done it because they filmed it. Exactly. Well, anyway, exactly. can I get back to my point? Uh, just the fact that they have Faraday clothing. Why? Why does a human need to be shielded from an EMP? You're not asking me. Hello? Okay, you're asking me. Okay. Why? Well, okay, yeah. I can tell him, but yeah. it's not going to be true. You're the, you're the one that brought it up. You're, because I've because never heard of Faraday clothing before. Yeah, uh, people that work on radio towers, uh, the, the uh-huh. cell phone towers, they need Faraday clothing. People that uh, operate radar equipment in the little module on the on the transport that's that's hauling their radar, their portable radar equipment, those yeah. people need it. Uh, common people, if you're in 5G. You need it. Yeah. If you're, in, if you're in a 5G area, go well, to what's military. the military uh, using it for? Why does the military have it? Why was it? Why was it? Why was it done? Why would why? So they came up with it. What for? The weapons that they're using won't harm them. Exactly. That's it. Frequency weapons. Yep. The Faraday cage blocks radio frequency, blocks all magnetic and uh, transient electromagnetic fields. Right. Now, is this another product that if it was made out of hemp would be a better result? No. 
okay. you know, hemp wouldn't make it any better. Okay. Uh, however, however, hemp makes about the best graphene that there is, and you could put graphene. If he used it to make graphene, yeah. Yeah, you could use it to make graphene. Well, yeah, I forgot the right word. Now, let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit more about Faraday cage in itself, just the technology behind it and what it is exactly. Um, it's just a, a cage made out of metal of some kind, either, like you said, a mesh or um, solid. And you want to have it grounded. Is there anything else that needs to be done? That covers it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be, like, uh, hooked up to a particular frequency or anything to... No. Not at to all. generate an interference pattern or anything like that. You you can use an old metal popcorn can as a Faraday cage. Okay, so just any kind of conductive material built in a, around something. Yeah, it goes all the way around it on all sides. Top, bottom, left, right, and front, back. Yep. It has to be enclosed. One hundred percent. Can it be just the sides and the top? No, it open, has to open be enclosed. on the bottom. No, it has to be enclosed. It has to be on the bottom too. It has to be one hundred percent enclosed. Okay, just those basic things that most people never heard of a Faraday cage either. If if you have a dirt floor and drive your ground rod on the inside of your building, then uh-huh. you can do it like that. Okay. But if you're just going to be hauling it around and drop a box over the top of it, the EM field that it's producing is still going to go out the bottom. It's still going to come out the bottom. Yeah. But if you're talking about a room, though, like a, a stationary thing that's never going to move, and it's... Yeah, just put it in a metal box. Yeah, Okay. No, I wasn't speaking. I'm talking about a whole room, actually, just wanting to set up a safe room, say. Oh, okay. Do that in your basement and paint the floor with, with lead paint and the walls and ceiling with lead paint. There you go. So lead paint's enough to do it. Can you even get lead paint still? I don't think so. And the only time it's dangerous is when babies pull the peeling paint off the walls. You need it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you've got to, you know, keep your house yeah. up and don't worry about that crap. That's why they made yeah. Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better. <laughs> the same poison, different, yeah. different color. Right. Well, I'm excited. I've got the wrap. You know, it is amazing I start how, how many poisons we ingest willingly and how little we do to stop it. Oh, I know. Uh, and every, if you complain, you doctor. Yeah, but if you complain, people call you names. You know yeah, what they call me? You know, what? They call me a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> they tell me I don't. I don't have my my helmet's not strapped on tight enough. You know, I got one foot up a donkey's ass. Things like that. It's very unattractive. But <laughs> according to the uh, the reality of life that I see, you know, for all the bullshit I've ever heard in my life about this, that, and the other, I think I'm a pretty good judge of I'm getting screwed here. <laughs> and so for to listen to you guys is kind of refreshing. After having been screwed, no, so I many I really do appreciate it because <laughs> when you guys work out a problem, it's really happening. It's not scripted. It's Rob didn't. Hey, wait a minute, and then this is cool. I'm getting a giggle. Yeah, I, I was nice to make that breakthrough and and to where I could it clicked in my brain how this works. Yeah, you were struggling for quite a while. I heard it in your I, tone. I just, I just as well as well, your word. I was hearing one four seven and, and it's it it's one four seven but it's <laughs> it's not. He warned and you it's not in that actual sequence because mm. you've got a four in between that one. <laughs> but he four warned you there's just another there's a seven, there's four and a seven in between the one and the four and the first four and the second four. 
But remember, he told if you, you can understand that that all this was uh, going to go against everything you were you taught need to become an interpreter. Exactly, because it goes against everything you were taught, Rob. Words. I can hear that. Well, it's it's one four seven, but in one in each. Yeah. If you add the ten, if you add each group, you add the last. The first, you got the first one, yeah. then you have to go all the way through the cycle of uh, one through nine, and then then the very next four you come to, and then go through all the way through the next cycle, and then the next the seven you come to. How yeah, many and times that creates the pyramid? How many times did you do it before you found the right equation, Larry Woods? You experimented quite a bit with this, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, about two years. And yeah. that's making yeah. funny coils yeah. of all different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. And then I learned Solomon math. And I learned pyramid math to go with vortex math. Okay. And it is the firing pattern is in the columns on the Temple of Solomon. The firing pattern is in the pyramids. Even the even the dips, the whole thing is there. Yeah. Uh, and it was just a matter of once that got done and the visualization happened. My partner, Evan, is the math wizard, and I set him loose on it, and he came up with, with one design, and I came up with another one. And by the time we got method done, they turned out to be exactly the same. Huh. He's right-handed. I'm left-handed. We do things differently, and it, it turned out exactly the same. And that's the coil that you're making right now. Wow. That's what they call trial and error. Yes, sir. You got to make some of them that don't work just so you find out what don't work. Well, that was, that was, that was good to know. I was curious about that. If it was just a, a, a random thing you came across just because you wrapped it that way one time or if you actually... No, I'm an absolute Blended. genius. It just I just sat down one day and put it together just when I was bored. No. <laughs> no. Well, a lot of things have been discovered that way, you know. Somebody accidentally just happened to wrap some, you know, happened to do this, and that happened. It was completely unexpected. I could, I'm at a loss for an example, Rip. But the doors yeah, of it, perception. It happens a lot. It, you know, a lot of a lot of inventions get get invented because somebody just stumbled upon something. Yeah. And, and when we started getting the anomalous readings that did not follow my electricity knowledge, right. uh, I started questioning everything. Yeah, what that's when you really started wrong? digging into it. Yeah. Now, what have we done wrong? Where's this thing shorting out to give us so much power? How come it's not heating up? <laughs> right. Um, oh, um, yeah. There you go. And, Change to a different meter. Find out if that meter's bad. Yeah, what's what's broken here? <laughs> the reading can't possibly be right. The formula doesn't work out. You're out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> you ever notice that almost everybody, the first thing they, the last thing they think of doing with a gas engine is checking the gas. <laughs> okay, I, I was uh, I was raised by a, a mechanic, and he told me the first thing you ever do is check. Check the gas. It says relying on gauges is a sucker's move. Check the fucking gas. So I did. And guess what? There's no gas in the engine. It won't run. <laughs> okay. Well, this is... I may, I may sound immaterial, but when you have a gas engine mine, electricity is a step, is a step in a different direction in a way. You're going into uncharted territory mechanically that you don't know because they're two different mechanics, you know. So gas power and electric power is two different worlds. Yep. So, well, okay. So I think that the person that has that gasoline engine mind is going to give you the biggest grief. Or the person, you know, here's the other one, is the, the armchair intellectual that saw a link or 
took a couple years of college somewhere and knows more than you do. There's lots of them. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. You, know, you can't I teach somebody whose cup is already filled. See, yeah, That's I came it. here to learn something from you. So I have to trust that you're telling me the truth. And so far, not only are you telling me, you're telling Rob, and Rob's going, yeah, that's true. So there's two people agreeing about the most unexplainable stuff. So being a layman, I'm going to go, okay, and follow this road and see where you guys take me. Because we're at the end of the show. Yes, we are. But... Wow, what a trip. I I just hope that the people that are following this have the patience to put up with the... Uh, yeah, sorry about the slow start. Yeah, the inconsistencies. And, and if I can suggest maybe a list of questions that you can each have to uh, discuss in the future so the lag time is a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, well, I didn't have the question. I mean, I was... I, I realize I that this is an impossible task that I want to accomplish. Sorry, guys. I don't. I'm losing my yeah, mind. What the hell are you trying to? Ask I for don't know. Order, order in minute. the science Wait world, minute. buddy. That's what I want. I want things Somebody in order. Somebody needs to smoke some more pot. I'm yeah. trying, but doesn't everything have to fall in a certain? About yeah, but it's all got to fall in a certain order, or it won't work. Right, Larry? If you don't yeah. do the exact step and the exact sequence. The results that you're defining to me through the radio show won't happen. I have to follow every step exactly like you tell me, or I won't get to the end. That's and what I believe. you have to hold your lip right. That's right. That's right. Am it I, won't work if you don't hold your lip just right. Okay, I'm yeah. facing south in my you gotta chair. you got to get that little bit of tongue stuck out, you know, and just... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to... Yeah, you got to... <laughs> I never was one of those people, but I've seen them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, does it hurt to think or what? <laughs> oh, you, know, you make funny exactly. faces when you have sex with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> my Dude, God. Uh, get a room, son. Get a room. <laughs> anyway. Damn it, Bobby. Anyway, thanks a lot, Larry Woods. And thanks a lot, Rob Woods. And we're absolutely doing something that I don't think anybody else has tried it like this before. So it's kind of cool yeah. to be in on, like, I feel like a mad scientist in a way. Like, I've got Beats my... the fuck out of voting and hoping, huh? Yeah, I've got my honorary mad scientist um, suit. Yeah. I wear it. I mean... Uh... Yeah, okay, maybe it's a dunce cap, <laughs> but I'm picking up a little bit. I'm learning stuff. Uh, hey. you made, wait, you made one more comment earlier. Larry, and that was Solomon Math, and you said something else, but I didn't catch it to memory. But it was just a few minutes ago, between the Faraday cage and when I interrupted you last. <laughs> Pyramid path. Pyramid path. Path. Math. 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 Okay. That was, there you go. Pyra- I see, I was hearing things. Pyramid. And these things are all important in the uh, electric world. But they show you how things work in the real world. They show you patterns. They show you Fibonacci sequence. They show you the golden spiral. It's yep. all there. But I've got the Internet. I don't need the real world. <laughs> the only people that, the only things that you should not know are the things that you do not want to know when you got the Internet. Well, I find myself trusting just a few sources of input as far as, you know, what I allow myself to believe. So, hmm. and I'm I'm a, yeah, I'm a doubting Thomas. People have been calling me that for like 50 years. When I was a little kid, you don't believe anything. Well, it's because you're all full of shit. You're such a skeptic. Yeah. And I just always knew. So So skeptical. You're a full of it, all of you. And who knew I was right? You curmudgeon. Yeah, but now now I'm a deni- I'm a Corona <laughs> denier and everybody hates me again. <laughs> I can't win. You now win them. Yeah. yeah, you win them in on this side. Changed, and then you lose them on. Yeah, I was right with climate change, but I'm wrong with uh, Corona. Who yeah. knew? Yeah, it is. Oh well. Maybe you guys can explain to me on the show why the uh, why the whole Bill Gates whole operation depends on two words, and one of them is virus in both businesses. Hmm. What a coincidence. 
Like yeah. trained seals barking at a fucking fish. Yep. Well, I'm not a very nice about how I feel about the stuff that we are enduring at the moment. So that's probably not the best way to end the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be Did out in five that? minutes. Did you watch that Ike video, Flash? I'm sorry. David I had my Ike. wife ask me something. Okay, that what? David Ike video. Oh, I don't know. I've, I don't need any more convincing. So at this point, I don't even know what well, I've seen. Well, it's not about having. convincing. It's about having knowledge. He explains a lot of that. Do you follow David Icke, Larry? Oh, oh as far as not. Uh, a little bit. Well, he just, did a, he just did an interview with uh, a guy on London Reel. Um, that it, uh, He talks about how the, the coronavirus and 5G are connected and, oh, yeah. uh, you know, um, that that's, that's the big scam and it's just a big power grab and, what else we could just it be? let it happen? Yeah, but what well, else could it be? There so the Gates can chip everybody, and they'll have a one-world government. And, yeah, yeah. And he talks about Gates, and oh man, he don't like Bill Gates or Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, at all. all yeah. They're either one of them. Yeah, they, they're Elon Musk is a psychopath. Liar. Woo! Dark words on yeah. the, on the end of it. Dropping the coil. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll Larry, leave drop you, the coil. We'll leave you with that. Yeah, but uh, I started down a, to the dropping of the coil part. <laughs> I started a few minutes late too, so I guess we can run a few minutes yeah. if you still have something important to say. Oh, uh, we're just but, uh, we're just bullshit. Oh, okay, but yeah, this hmm, this is quite the uh, education for me in a weird way that I can't put words to yet. But eventually, it'll it'll make sense. Yeah. You know how things are. You, you see something and you're curious about, but you don't know why. And I'm not smart picking up all the logic and every drop of math but i'm getting the overall picture just from the explanations uh -huh. so well to let you guys know that i'm getting somewhere with this so that you hear it from me cool if i sat on that well, kind of good to know. information it's good to know that uh, yeah yeah well because I mean, from 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 what we've done if you you can go back through our shows and follow along uh a, a relatively intelligent person which should be able to build a coil from this. Exactly. And it, but here, here again, if uh, if you don't have funding, you're screwed. That because you know that's life. These things cost well, money. Like I said, I mean, yeah, it cost me three hundred dollars to get a three D printer. <laughs> so I mean, the okay, and setup to be some, a little expensive, but exactly to some you know, people, it could be a lot. Once of money. you have all the things you need, you know. Cost me less than five dollars to print a donut, twelve dollars for some wire. Well, you know the beauty um, of the internet too, Rod, is people can communicate with each other and meet up. So you know you yeah. can always find somebody that has the funds that doesn't want the part of making something. Right. Yeah. It's like uh, putting Larry and, and Rob together on the radio at the same time. I I was yeah. lucky to do that. Rob asked me yeah. if I could, and I went, sure, I can. Do so here we are, but uh, so many other things can come from this one thing. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, you're gonna. What yeah. Thing. yeah, you'll have Maybe. plenty to talk about next week. Um, I'm yeah. sure it'll be a li li little bit less airtime <laughs> for the it's home the free, audience. The free energy special interest group. If you'll go back all the way to November of last year, that's when I started posting. The scientific information on that site from November of last year to now will give you most of the math and all the science and some of the circuitry to a system that will give you free energy out of an earth battery. Uh, it's a really good That's Facebook their page. their Facebook page. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't have that. Um. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook. Okay. But that's okay. I got what I need. I got it right here. Got this little piece of paper. Were you talking about the link you posted already, Larry? Yeah. Okay, because I got that. In the, okay. I yeah, thought I had to get something else. No, the, the YouTube link I posted is, is just some of their meetings. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that it's that same group on Facebook. Yeah. 
Then there you go. Okay, so I can just write. Uh, look if at you're smart Facebook. enough to follow this whole conversation, you're smart enough to go find them on Facebook. Yeah. F E S I G. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. F-E-S-I-G. Free Energy Special Interest Group. Yeah. Those that are that uh, want to know can find it themselves. Okay. Well, just, they're following this. Say. They're smart enough to go find people on Facebook. Yeah, well, I guarantee you what you guys are talking about is not for the weak-minded. This is a tough thing. And I know I got yeah, a little well, more talk. It, it took me several tries to get this whole concept down of the 247. Oh, that yeah. was just bugging the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to still harp on he warned you in the first place by saying everything that you know is going to go against what you're going to find yeah. out. Well, be, the well, beauty of this... it really based on something I knew. It was based on you have to know the formula. You have to know the parameters of what you're doing, which... And 247 wasn't enough parameters to, to Oh, to I, know, I don't, I'm not talking about the mis- <laughs> No, no, I'm not talking about the mistake in the, in the equation. I was talking about the overall right. scheme of... Uh, you've taken a verbal concept and communicated it over the internet and Radio yeah, that's where I can actually... To where you're yeah. actually building one. and it's, Physically uh, going to build it. Yeah, and it's kind of a nerdy, exciting thing to be a part yeah, of. You brought the nerd easy. out of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go get a pocket protector. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, maybe oh, some oh, Benoit yeah, balls. You know? <laughs> one of those little squeezy hand things that you need to squeeze. <laughs> Oh, have, <laughs> I, yeah, you know, I've got pretty strong hands for being a, an old, young, you know, old, yeah, small well, guy. Yeah, we about your perverse tendencies, man. Both of them equally. <laughs> I'm ambidextrous, not, sucker. Just the right. Oh, it's right. just the right hand. <laughs> and married, so, yep. All or three of us. <laughs> it's been fun, guys. I'll see you guys yeah, next yeah. week. Thank you so much for uh doing this program it's been a lot thanks of fun. for putting up with us ah, yeah my pleasure yep. okay let me get to the button so we can say over and out you guys ready yeah yep. see you next over week. and out oh